Hi, uh, welcome back, uh, Joe here. In a previous video, we discussed how to compare two CSV files, but we didn't show how to show the percentage matched. So whether it's 100%, 50%, or 10%. So um, basically what we're gonna to do today is go through that. Uh, that previous video, you should see it up there. Uh, that's just the original video if you wanna have a look at it. But let's hop over to the code now and see how we can take the that video and, and show instead of showing the outputs, show the percentage match. Right, so we're here to look at see how we can see the percentages uh, matched in uh, between two files uh, rather than just seeing the actual differences. Okay, so when the first thing we're going to do is go down to the code, look at then I'm going to look at the output and then explain some of the calculations that sequence match with us. Okay, so got the usual imports. NumPy and Math here, and this this is actually the important one um, that was going to be kind of the crux of this video. I'm going to show you that later on what it does and how it does the calculations. This um, these two lines are essentially what we're doing here is more just to aesthetics for later on when the output gets printed to the screen that we can see all the information then and explain it. So that's all that's that's doing. So the first thing we're doing here is going to read in two files. So when we go back here, there's two files in here. And if I go here, okay, the CSV1, okay. And then if I go back here and go CSV2, all right. If I just do this, okay. So the idea here is that we're actually comparing these two files, see what the differences are, and then see what the percentage match, whether it's 100%, 10%, 50%, whatever. It depends on the file and the, the the prevents and the percentage of how close they are. So let's just close these. We won't save these, okay? Just leave them like that. All right, Did that, okay. So let's go back to the code. So we read, we're reading in the files here, right? So the next thing we wanna do is create an array for both files that we're read in into the data frame. And the idea behind this is that it, in creating an array, it creates an index values for each. So that allows then later on comparisons to be made. So that's the reason for creating an array. Then we want to basically feed those arrays into the data frame. And this is what this two next two lines are doing. They're essentially reading them in and then giving, we're obviously assigning um, column headings to both. And the whole idea is that um, once we, we have, we'll do it down here in a second, but having them in two data frames, you can start manipulating and applying some more Python logic to it when they're in a data frame. Okay, one, uh, there's one uh, step we need to do after this. So essentially when we're gonna be iterating over the, the data points, actually can't iterate over some of them because they're some of the values because they're integers. So we're just comparing, changing them all to string. So that's what these four lines are doing. They're just year one, year two, and length one, length two. We're just changing them to string for the moment. They will change back the values uh, later on down the code, just not too far down. But for the moment, we're just gonna change to have them as a string. And then the last thing we're going to do is for the moment join a data frame so essentially instead of having two we've created two data frames up here what we're actually doing is we're bringing them into one data frame um so that when we want to do the comparisons it's able to look into one data frame and then look at the particular column and say compare the value in this column to value in a different column okay so our next line uh, two lines are the function and what this does is for each column we want to do a comparison on it takes, it takes the arguments in here and, to, and populates them these parameters. And then these parameters are passed down in here. And then it runs the, the sequence matcher um, logic and basically calculates the ratio and then pass it into the column down below. So that's the, probably for this video, that is the main big part of actually how we get the, what we're here for, to, to the percentages. And those two lines is what creates the percentages Next, we're just going to be doing a bit of formatting. I'm going to take you through that, but that's the two lines that actually create the percentages. Okay, so what we're doing here is we are for film group. Okay, we're basically a calling the create ratio function, and then tell it to compare it against the two a film one and film two, and then put it into this column, new column here in the data frame called film compare. Okay, same again for year. Um, it's doing exactly the same. We're calling the create ratio and to say bring bring us in year one and year two values. Once we create the ratio, put it into this column here, year comparison. And finally, same again for length, it's basically calling create ratio and then say, give us length one value, length two value for each row. And then create, calculate the ratio and then put it in here 
to this column called this new column called df length comparison all right so now we've done the calculations we have the ratios they're in a new column basically going to just do this more formally in the next couple couple of lines essentially these this line is converting them all to float and then multiplying by 100 and the whole idea is to have them now in a value of say 91 50 84 94 whatever now the only issue with that is floats have basically decimal points after them so what we need to do in these next two lines is basically take those values and it just basically removes the decimal points and any values after it and then just gives you one single value and then the last line pretty straightforward that's just printing out so why don't we uh, print this now uh, if you can run this and it's going to print it out so we'll just show you the output here now so what you have here now is the output so we have number one film one year one length one are the csv files okay so they are the files that base the cs the value from the csv one and then for number two film two year two and length two they are the values in the csv two and then we have so you remember up here we've created um these three here three columns and it's calculated it's basically calculate the ratios this is where the ratios come in so you see film here year and length of all come in here and what we're going to do is going to nip over to our the website because i want to explain how the 91 and the 50 actually is calculated so we're going to explain 91 the 50 and this value down here 94 and there's a reason i want to touch base 94 because the data is slightly different and the calculation does it slightly different but we'll explain that now in a second so let's hop over to the website right so on the webs on the output there you just saw in um on the window the screen here it's basically we're going to look at this value here we're going to look 91 and 50 right so basically what's happening here is the the um basically the the where has it gone to the yeah the sequence matcher here is basically comparing values right and what it's basically doing is saying right first thing it does is it says i'm comparing two values so let's do a count of all the values in here so there's four in here and here so it says we have a total of eight values in a sequence right and what it's basically saying is right there's four in the first part of the sequence four in the second part of the sequence so when it comes to do the comparison it says are they actually first of all is are they in the right position so it can see that two is in the right position because it's the same position there zero is in the right position it's the same position there but one and nine here is not in this is not there because it's zero eight so basically when it finds it's in the correct position it applies a value of one one but then it applies a value of zero zero now the second check it does is actual fact so it's that's the positional check it actually says is the actual values in the files so two and zero as we can see is here and two and zero is here and we know it's in the same position so it's basically found it there in the file so it's applied a value of one but the one and nine here is not in this particular sequence of zero and eight so it's just past the value of zero so in the end what we found is through this methodology through the class the sequence matcher it's basically said one two three four four the values are matching based on the the logic that we're applying to it four over eight is it gives you 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 as we know when multiplied by 100 is 50 and that's the value you get here in the year comparison so let's do the same methodology again for the film okay so if we go back here so we on this line we're comparing joker with jokers all right so if we go back here again we're comparing joker with jokers so there's jokers there is five and jokers here is six so in total in the sequence there's 11 characters all right what it's doing then is it does the positional check first and then essentially well first thing it does it says right so is j o k e or all right in that position when it compares it to here is is it in the same position and it is so for the first five characters joker here and the first five character joker here it basically says yes it's there so it says it's one two three it's applied a value for each letter essentially of five then what it does is again what it's fine is is the actual values that's positional is the are the actual values there and basically yes they are so we know that j okay or is here and it's also here and it's also in the correct position 
So it's again, it's given another phi, it's applied one to each. So when we look at this, there's a total of 11 in the sequence, but five, basically 10 of them between the positional and then the, the matching have been found as correct. So 10 over 11, if we do this, clear this, so 10 divided by 11 equals 0 0.90. And as you probably saw, we have rounding here. Let's just go down here a bit, bring that down. We do have rounding. Uh, yeah, we have rounding in here and then multiply by 100. So that brings it up to this value of 91. So that's how, in that instance, it basically checks the value and then basically uh, gives it a ratio. So the only reason it's not at 100% obviously because there's an extra S here. So if we took out that S in the file and we ran this, it should come to 100. So let's go back to the, the website because there's one other thing I want to show you uh, on a comparison. So in the above two examples, they basically had no spaces in them. So there was basically, this was four against four or five against six, all right? So they basically had no spaces, all right? In this scenario, um, it's index 20. So if we come down here, it's this line here, okay? And what it's doing is it's comparing this line. So it's comparing this value here, the dirt, to this, the dirty. Now, one of the things that it's doing is it goes through the exact same process as above, but because there's a space in it, um, this this class sequence matcher basically it doesn't um, it discounts spaces, considers them junk. So for comparative purposes, if you have spaces in your files. It or any of your pieces of data, data points, it will discard them and not include them. So let's go down and talk through it and explain what it's done. So we have the three and then there's a space four and then there's three to four, that's eight there, right? So then, then there's three, 11, and then there's one is 12 and then there's five here. So in total, there's actually between the characters and the space 17. But as I discussed and just said there, it discards junk as it's as it sees it. So it could be a space, it could be a semicolon, could be inverted comma, could be an exclamation mark. It doesn't include it. So that 17 comes down to 16. And then what it does is essentially it's looking at it's looking at everything and it assigns values to them. Um and basically it does the positional and then it also does the actual is the file there, or sorry, is the piece of data there. And then when it adds them all up it basically then is able to calculate um, the matching ratio. So we have 16 and I've applied the same methodology as above. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have 15 over 16. And if we do that, this, so 15, 16 is... 0.93 and as we know it rounds up um rounds up and then multiplies by 100 so that's 0 0.94 multiplied by 100.94 and that gives us this value here so in essence let's go back here in essence that's how you would take my original piece of work where i actually found differences and then you could use that but but that could be your further follow on. What this could be used for is to essentially say, well, uh, at a very high level and a summary level, this is the percentage of matches that we found between the files. So I hope you enjoyed that today. I really appreciate you coming along and um, doing more videos uh, coming out soon, I'm trying to get one out every week. I'm very busy at the moment, but good busy. I hope you're keeping well. Um, take care of yourself in the current environment. It's, um, people are sick, but. I think we're nearly at the end of it. Uh, we'll be having more videos, as I said, coming out soon. Look after yourself, and we'll see you soon. Bye.